Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the track that needs no introduction, but we do it anyway. It's Slinger, the fastest high bag quarter mile of the U.S., playing host to the sixth race in the Super Late Model Regulation Series. I'm Mikey McLam, your commentator and driver of the Valvoline Green Machine, ready to make a significant dent in the points battle with a potential win here at Slinger. We've seen a lot of success on this track, both offline and online. We can only hope that it will be enough to find ourselves in victory lane once again here at Slinger. But it's going to be points leader Andy Crawford who's going to lead the band of hooligans to the line. Green flags in the air. Let's bring the noise at Slinger. First three laps of the race complete, we've already got ourselves a Martinsville bumper. As Eddie Crawford is very, very close to putting us a lap down as we're getting around several people. Oh, beating and banging with the 25. We get to the inside of the one car. With Brett Thompson now going to try to get around Jessica Robinson. The 129, 70 laps to go. We're doing a 50% race here at Slinger. Reason being is because because this track is so short and so fast, we're trying to work our way around Jesse right here. This track is so short and so fast, I really, really wanted some time to actually have a good race here and get around people. Because like this is gonna be our best chance to to win to win a race. And if this one, you know, does as well as the uh, as the other videos do then I'm probably going to be more inclined. Ooh, got to really squeeze into that outside wall there. Still fighting side by side for 11th, but I'll probably be inclined to just run race five through, uh, sorry, run race, I guess, six through 10 as 50% races. Honestly, you know, depending on the track size and everything, but ladies and gentlemen, we have cracked ourselves into the top 10. Found some momentum on that high line. As we're trying to work our way around Tommy Bailey. Lap traffic is playing a major factor as Kevin Murphy has taken over the race lead. I'm just now realizing that as we get hard into that outside wall. That's par for the course at Slinger, man. There's just not a lot of room on this racetrack and that wall comes up in a hurry. Eddie Crawford is back here. Looking like he's just outside of the top five. So lap traffic playing a major factor. So we got inside, as we got into, I should say, the 86 of Ed Hill still fighting. Looking to get around Chase Jones and Samantha Bell. Not sure which way I can go here. They're making it real difficult. Why not go in the middle as we give Chase Jones a bump up the race track three wide as we go into turn number one. Trying to get to the outside of Eric Crawford to crack the top five. Oh, I had to get out of the way of Carter there. We do manage to make a run around the outside. Still riding P6. Eddie Crawford's now on a move. Come on, Chuck. I need you to get out of the way, buddy. Get around the lap car of Chuck Diaz. Eddie Crawford is hungry now. He's trying to get his, trying to get himself back up there, and contend. But man, he's uh, we've lost so much ground as Eddie Crawford just kind of booted the 05 out of the way. Robbie Collins just got moved. I don't, you don't typically see that. You don't typically see that in a, uh, in an. It, it, just in a race and oval racing like in a racing game you don't see that a whole lot usually it's just they're either getting into you or you're getting into them but you rarely ever see the ai getting into each other so that is nice to see that is really nice to see ladies and gentlemen we have cracked ourselves up into p3 and the leader is right there get around the lap car margie brooks inside 
of the 98 of Fisher. Oh man, Green had to get on the brakes hard. He got chopped out by Jesse right there. We're gonna go to the outside. Of Billy Green, maybe gonna get three wide off the turn. We make it work. We're gonna try this once again. Oh, the four car now out in front. Harry Nelson is making a bid for the race win. Here is he goes around in front of the field. The leader Rex. Harry Nelson. Rex from the lead. My gosh. Did not see that coming, but here we're, we've just inherited this race lead. Let's see how well we can hold on to it. Here we go. Green flags back in the air. We do a good job to not spin the tires. On through turns one and two. Ooh, got really up close to that wall. Harry Nelson still trying to fight back. He had the lead just before he spun out. And now here he is again. And somehow those tires are still good underneath of him. I don't know. I don't know about all that, but uh, we got 43 laps to go here at Slinger on lap 35 of 77. And now we're going to start to catch lap traffic. We got to wonder if this is going to be a problem here. Ooh. Got right up behind Chuck Diaz. Going to have to really be careful to navigate our way through here. Ooh. Several of these cars are already multiple laps down. It's the 81 of Ricky Campbell. Going to work our way to the inside of him. He did not make it easy. He had to get on the apron there. Outside of the 32 of Carter, who's a new driver. I'm not sure if that's Bobby Carter or not. If you get that reference, you, you, if, if you know, you know. Now chasing our old number, Eric Erickson. We're going to put him another lap down. I believe that's probably going to be the third lap down. Possibly fourth, but I think it's just the third. Now we're going to try to work our way around Margie Brooks. Putting a decent gap on the four of Harry Nelson as he just got overtaken by Kevin Murphy. Now he takes the lead back. There's a uh, definitely a battle going on between the 94 and the number four. We're trying to get around Tommy Richardson. Get right on that door to try to keep him pinned down as much as possible. Now catching up to P15, Jesse Wright. Oh, spin up in front of us and we had nowhere to go. Oh man, that's a lot of damage on this race car now. I wish... I wish it was like SR SRX where we could uh, could repair the race car, but we're going to hope that this doesn't hurt us too much. Here we go. Green flags back in the air. Nelson tried to fight back on the outside, but now he's under attack by Kevin Murphy. Yep. Yep. The handling is not the same. We got 32 laps to go. I'm not sure I can hold off Kevin Murphy. This car is feeling really, really tight. Yeah, I'm definitely not getting the same amount of turn out of this race car now as I was earlier on in the race. Uh, maybe the tires will come in. Maybe they won't. But now we're fighting side by side, trying to hang on to this lead. Unfortunately, not going to be able to do that. Kevin Murphy takes over the race lead. Harry Nelson tries to follow him on through. He'll take that spot away from us. Ooh, he left it open. We stuck our nose in there. We get back P2. Oh, Kevin Murphy leaving a little bit of bottom open. We got some fighting going on up here for position. Got to be trying to be careful around the lap cars. <laughs> Kevin Murphy just kind of doored. The seven car up the racetrack. Oh, we got right into the left rear. We go th three wide and we take back over the race lead. I think the tires are starting to come back in. No, we're still a little bit tight. Here comes Eddie Crawford. 
Crawford out of nowhere. We're going to just use this top lane as much as we can. But yeah, Eddie Crawford out of nowhere. Now he's up here going to be fighting for the lead. Oh man, had to go to the hard to the inside of Eric Erickson. Now to the outside of Margie Brooks. Kevin Murphy takes over P2 from Eddie Crawford. I'd like to finish as far in front of Eddie Crawford as I possibly can. I would love to do that. Oh, got hung up behind Richardson. Woo. A little bit loose off the corner there. Oh, a little door up the racetrack. 20 to go. Now catching up to Jesse Wright. Going to put him another lap down. I'm going to have to have a talk with Jamie. Let him know his cousin's out here just staking up the racetrack. Putting a, putting a sully. He's sullying the uh, the right name. I have to have a talk with him about that. Oh man, we got a gaggle of race cars up here. We got about half a lap on Erickson. Whoa, the 86 of Ned Hill goes around. Caution comes out once again. We just narrowly avoided that one. But hopefully we can hold these guys off for another restart. Last time didn't go so well. Hopefully this time goes a little bit better. Green flags back in the air. Down into turn number one. Almost full throttle. Oh, here comes Harry Nelson. Nelson made a dive for the lead there, but couldn't quite make it work. Now the eight car and the four car have pulled away. 14 laps to go here at Slinger. Will lap traffic play a factor once again? We are definitely going to catch them. Alan Bespin must be watching, uh, watching somewhere else on the racetrack. He's talking about what a battle. Maybe watching the battle here for last as we get... Oh! Fisher got to the inside of Carter there. Hmm. Totally just kind of was a roadblock on the racetrack for a little bit there, but we're going to start to try to navigate our way through lap traffic. Oh, it's head laps to go here at Slinger. We're going to have to try to make this outside work as much as we can. Hopefully the AI stayed down on the bottom. That was my fault. Got a little bit loose there in the center of the corner. Nine laps to go. All these guys about to go yet another lap down. They've got to be at least four, five laps down at this point. Eight to go. Eric Erickson really slow. Through the corners here. Looks like I might have to go to the bottom. Ooh, Eric Richardson leaves a little bit of bottom open. A little bit of contact going into turn number four. Ooh. Almost got into the <laughs> Campbell there. Kept it off of him, though. To put Margie Brooks another lap down. Five laps to go. Oh, boy. Here we go. It's just another minute of racing. Are we going to go green? Four to go. Ah, uh, the 53. Looks like he's cleared the other guys. He might be due for a second place finish unless another caution comes out. Three to go. I was hoping I could put a little bit of gap on him. But it looks like he's fought his way back up into the second spot. Which is pretty much all he's going to get. White flag in the air one more time around. We've done it several times before, offline and online, and now we do it with a beat-up race car. Once again, the Slinger winner is the number eight. The Valvoline Green Machine goes to victory lane again. All right, guys, so here are the race results for the Super Late Model Regulation Series race at Slinger. Once again, Slinger winner. The number eight going to victory lane for the second time this season, followed by Eddie Crawford. Brian Ramirez in third, Harry Nelson in fourth, rounding out the top five is Samantha Bell. So it's pretty much the usual suspects that are pretty much always up in the top five. 
Uh, sixth is Kevin Murphy. Seventh is Robbie Collins. Eighth is Chase Jones. Ninth is Ricky Cox. And rounding out the top ten is Tommy Bailey. And here is the rest of the field. Only ten cars finish on the lead lap. Most of, uh, actually, only three cars one lap down. Two laps down, Jesse Wright on back, and then four laps down to five laps down. Six laps down, a lot of these guys. Wow. Uh, Mike, Mark, Mike Martinez. I don't typically, I noticed that when I was out on the racetrack. I don't typically see the number seven car out here. So um, so that, that must be a new guy, unless I'm mistaken. But I don't typically see him out on the racetrack. But yeah, multiple, multiple laps down for a lot of of the field this is a quarter mile short track it's it, it's no surprise to see this kind of spread but yeah a lot of lap traffic and here are the point standings after slinger eddie crawford still maintains the points lead but we have moved ourselves up into p2 18 points back off the leader but only three points ahead of brian ramirez we got our second win of the season so that's awesome uh, Harry Nelson in fourth and rounding out the top five is Samantha Bell. Like I said, these are pretty much the usual suspects. I expect to see pretty much all of these guys running up front constantly. So these these are the these are the people that we're racing for the rest of the season. We've got some work to do. We got Kevin Murphy, Chase Jones, Tommy Bailey, Robbie Collins, and Ned Hill round out the top ten. There was a guy that I wanted to look for here, the number seven of Mike Martinez. Yeah, see a lot of these guys, yeah. That this had to be Mike's one of Mike's first races because these guys are pretty much like, you know, in the, in, down in the 40. So um so yeah, that is the point standings after Slinger. Let's move on. Anyway, guys, that will do it for today's race at or tonight's race at Slinger. It's a heck of a run. It was a heck of a run. Um, it, it was never, and there was never an instance where I was really able to kind of relax. Maybe I had like maybe a couple of instances during like a half of a lap where I had some clean air and I could actually run and not worry about running over the AI in front of me. But uh, man, the guys at the back are slow. They they are they are they are ridiculously slow um but it was good to see some of the action happen up ahead of me in terms of like actually being able to see like other cars using up other cars and other drivers like just moving people out of the way giving people the uh the bumper and that that was cool to see because like you don't typically see that in other racing games so um, so that was cool to see, like they, they did something really, uh, really good at, with this particular, uh, racing game. Um, but as I, as I said at the end of the last video, Slinger is one of those tracks where it's, it's one of the easier ones. I did not run a custom setup here. I just ran the, the same setup I ran in the SRX, uh, series, um, when I did that a year ago. So I just ran that, uh, ran that same setup, which was, you know, 34 percent loose or something like that you know so one click to the left uh, to tighten the car up and it just it handled handled really well didn't spin the tires on the restart which was my, were very 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 important um and managed to I, I, I won't lie it got a little bit scary um after the second caution when i ran into the back of that guy and there was just nowhere that I, I couldn't avoid it there was nowhere to go um, it is interesting to see the the crash physics and because Slinger is so high banked, they don't slide up the racetrack. They pretty much kind of remain where they are. Um, so it, it is cool to see that because like obviously like with this high of a bank uh, track as Slinger is, you wouldn't typically, especially with the speeds that we're going, we're not going that fast. You don't really expect them to... Uh, to slide up the racetrack, you know, like unless they're up at the top of the racetrack and then they come down. But it was a little scary because the damage was actually slowing me down and I couldn't hold off the leaders after a while. I think Kevin Murphy was up there challenging and Harry Nelson. I think those guys were up there just really breathing down my back bumper and there wasn't a whole lot I could do to really hold them off. Um, it took lap traffic to play a factor and I was able to get back to the front and then I guess it was just a, a race of attrition on tires because 
I guess I managed mine just a little bit better than than everybody else's because I really pulled away on that last restart. So anyway, we got ourselves our second win of the season. We're headed to Desert View Speedway in New Mexico. Do not know if that's a real track or not. You'll have to let me know in the comments below. But until then, we are going to be back on schedule. So we're going to go ahead, knock this race out. And this will wrap up the super late model races for September. We'll be back in October for a couple more, I think, if not November. But um, I'll be checking on the schedule to let you guys know. But until then, thank you so much for tuning into the super late model regulations series here in the SRX video game. If you enjoy this content, be sure to subscribe, click the notification bell, leave a like on the video, and comment down below, hashtag slinger winner. Once again, we are pretty much undefeated at this racetrack. I don't think I've lost either in in either season modes or online. So that, that that's cool. That's cool. So I don't know. Slinger just comes to us, I guess. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in New Mexico.